it's a kind of social Jerusalem, really, you know, uh, for cultures. They, they, they make pilgrimages there. <laughs> Well, like a lot of musicals, it, it started out as a joke, you know, it started out as a, as a title that somebody threw out as a joke, which was, we should have just done Coppers the Musical. And, and Darren Smith, the, one of the co-producers of the show, originally said it to me, and I, we, we probably both let it sit with each other for about an hour, and then we both said, what about it? Cahill Jackson, the owner of Copperface Jacks, I think he was a bit uh, bewildered at first when we told him we wanted to make a musical uh, about the club. And then, you know, we said, well, you know, there's, there's a film about the Moulin Rouge. And then he kind of got it. <laughs> So I play Nolene Nee Garald and she's from Cahar Savine, County Kerry and she's engaged to a fella called Mossy and he has a very valuable wind turbine in Cahar Savine but uh, what I love about Nolene is that she follows her heart and her dream is to work in the claims department of the VHI so she comes to Dublin to work in the VHI and she randomly wanders into coppers one night because she one night because she can't get a wink of sleep and she bumps into the Dublin the captain of the Dublin football team and from there it's just uh, love at first sight and chaos ensues so the whole fun of it is that um, that Kerry and Dublin people seemingly don't mix and it's like it's almost like they're from completely different worlds and I mean the characters are totally different Gino Wilds is is, is almost like the Conor McGregor of, uh, of, of Dublin and um, Nolene is just this very sweet, innocent, innocent girl. It's basically Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it's, it's never really a place you plan on going to, but it's the place you always end up in, you know? Uh, and that's like, that's a compliment. That is the beauty of Copper is, is that it embraces everybody. It doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter what you look like. They just say, come on in, have a good night. I've tried to explain it to friends of mine from America and I say, you know, it's, it's essentially uh, an enormous nightclub uh, that holds what, you know, seems like about 5,000 people uh, who are all wearing uh, uh, sports jerseys. They play the national anthem at the end. They still play Aerosmith, I don't want to miss a thing. Uh, sweet child of mine, sometimes for no reason whatsoever, somebody hands you a plate of stew and nobody has ever had a bad night. <laughs> who goes there. Friends I explained it to from abroad just shake their heads, you know, and they say, but is it cool? Like, and I say, no, it isn't cool. There's nothing remotely cool about it. You don't go there to look at yourself in the mirror. You go along to play air guitar to some song that you haven't heard since 1987 and maybe get off with a primary school teacher or a guard um, and, and go home just feeling like you've had the night of your life. Oh.